Thank you very much, uh, <laughs> Chair. So, um, yeah, I can tell you it's not an abstention for the Liberal Group, so it's a clear uh, yes for uh, the new Commission. A little bit of courage, Mr. Kamal, uh, in the start of this new Commission, please. Uh, that we need clear, clear, clear statements and, 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 and clear positions. And we got a lengthy uh, discussion yesterday uh, in the group. And our conclusion is that we shall support this uh, Commission as part of uh, a pro-European coalition that also supported you when you were appointed as, uh, as the President of, uh, of this Commission. And you know it also that this Commission uh, received the support from us uh, not for free. We expect uh, a different Commission than the previous one. We expect a Commission with ambition, uh, a Commission with vision. Uh, a Commission that can lead us out of the crisis and not what we seen, uh, have seen uh, the, the last five years, a Commission that became more and more the Secretariat of the Council and a Commission that waited first of all to the green light of Paris and Berlin, in fact I have to say Berlin and Paris, the opposite, before it was uh, acting. And to give you one example, we are still waiting five years after the start of the financial crisis on the legislative package on economic governance uh, in this uh, Parliament. So that's the reason why we give you this, uh, this uh, support, that is to change the way the Commission is handling, to come back to the communitarian method and to lead us out uh, of uh, the crisis. But more in precisely, what we hope to see from your Commission are three precise things. First of all, a credible strategy on investment and growth. And I hope, dear colleagues, that we really can end this stupid discussion that we have five years in which we are saying, no, it's discipline who is more important, and others who are saying, no, it is investment who is more important. Can somebody tell us maybe that both are important and that you don't have to make a choice between fiscal discipline at the one hand and investment and growth on the other hand. It's impossible to have investment and growth without fiscal discipline. And it is, like Mr. Juncker said, impossible to have economic growth without a good, sound public finances uh, in the future. And that is what we have to show. And I have to tell you, I hope that Mr. Katainen is coming the fastest as possible uh, with a plan. You are talking about a 300 billion uh, euro, mostly repackaging. You know what the problems are. The problem is that the investment gap today in Europe Europe is not 300 billion. The investment gap in Europe for the moment is more than 800 billion, is near to 1 trillion of lacking investment, private mainly, in our infrastructure, in digital, in the energy grid, in transport, in innovation. And what I hope is that in the coming months you can come forward with a credible strategy and plan to close that uh, gap. Not by the classical way, say, yeah, we shall increase a little bit uh, the, uh, the amount of capital in the European Investment Bank. You need to come forward with a credible strategy like the Lord did it, creating the internal market for consumerhood. We need a new way forward in the integration of the European Union in digital, in energy, in innovation, in our capital markets, we are not unified at for the moment. And that is what we are waiting for, the fastest as possible because we need it. And the second thing is, can it work, this new structure? We were always in favour of coordination and clustering. I hope it can work. But I have to tell you, I have some doubts about it. In a marriage, it's very clear. You don't decide everything together. I decide in my marriage about questions of peace and war, and my wife is doing the finances. So there's a clear division of power uh, in, uh, uh, in my But I don't know if uh, appointing two uh, commissioners uh, for, for the Stability Pact is the way forward. I think that it could be a source of problems, and I hope that it is not, because I'm very much in favour of coordinating and clustering, and I hope that in any way we shall not see internal battles uh, inside uh, uh, your Commission. We got a long uh, deadlock in the European Union with discussions between Paris and Berlin on the future strategy of the European Union. We cannot afford ourselves to have a deadlock because Mr. Dombrovskis and Mr. Moscovici have not the same opinion about the appliance of the Stability Pact and about the future strategy. So I want that we look to it near and that you intervene immediately if such a deadlock uh, could exist. And then finally, the new Commission uh, should be also univocal on, on European values. And, and, and there, there is a problem, you have already indicated the problem, 
maybe Mr. Navracic is competent to be Commissioner, but not on the portfolio you assigned him. You have announced now, a few minutes ago, that he should not longer be responsible for, for citizenship. I think that's a good step forward. Does it solve the whole problem? I don't think so. Yesterday you received a letter by Mr. Bernard Foucroul, uh, the director of the music festival of Aix-en-Provence, and that in the name of a long list of eminent European artists, painters, composers, actors, architects, directors of opera houses, theatres, and I want to tell you that we fully back, in fact, the content of this letter. And in any way, if you don't uh, have other proposals to make, what I hope, is that the structure that you have put in your commission where vice presidents are coordinating uh, and controlling, in fact, also the work of the other commissioners is also applying to the portfolio of Mr. Navracic. And that Mr. Navracic, in the way he is doing his job, is doing that under the control of the different vice presidents of the commission responsible for civil liberties. That said, uh, dear colleagues, the credibility of this Commission is not only a question of economics, it's also a question of values, because Europe is also about democracy and about human values. Thank you.